It says, Beyond Evil, Ohio father lined up and executed his three young sons with a rifle. And this is the man that had killed his three sons. In an act of just incomprehensible cruelty, the father that stands before you lined up his three young boys and he executed them in his own home with a rifle. They were ages three, four, and seven, Judge. In an act of desperation to save her children, the mother at some point grabbed the gun the father was wielding to attempt to protect them. We know that one of the boys was able to flee into a field near the home. And again, we know from his admission, father hunted that boy down, drug him back to the property, and executed him in front of witnesses. The mother was shot through the hand in her attempt to protect her children. Judge, I asked the court in setting this bond to just begin to imagine their fear. This was the man that every day they woke up looking to for protection, love, guidance in all things. The man they trust more than any other person on earth. The person they rely upon to keep them safe from harm. He was their world, he was their guardian, and he executed them in cold blood. We know that from his admission. By that same admission, Judge, he has committed <clears throat> one of the most monstrous, craven, cowardly acts that will ever be our misfortune to see. To make things even more disturbing, Judge, this was no haphazard act. Again, by his own admission, he planned the events of this day. Judge, it's important for the court to know and the bond we're going to request today for the court to understand Claremont County deputies, Monroe Township Fire and EMS, and other first responders bravely respond to the scene where they don't know what's going on. At this point in time, bond's going to be set in the amount of $20 million cash or surety. Anything else at this time, Mr. Gast? No, Judge. Mr. Cal. Mr. Cal, anything further? Nothing at this time. All right. Thank you. All rise. Court has been recessed. All right. Shalom. Shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I'm going to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakudash. I'm the brother Tazamak Abad, coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach the truth and well. Peace and citation to the hope, hopeful elect that is scattered, scattered abroad. And what you've seen today was Esau. He executed and murdered his three sons, man, with a, with a rifle. Okay? And he said how one son had escaped, and he hunt him down and executed him. All right, so we're going to go into this. It's not going to be a long lesson, but you see how the Lord is, you know, is flipping everything towards the heathen. Okay, the things that we go through, the hell that we catch in this captivity. Now Esau is doing it. Okay, now Esau is doing it amongst his own people. Okay. You know, but, hey, we can't wait till it, it, it's fully affected when Yahweh Shai comes back and change the rulership of this kingdom. See, this kingdom is falling, all right? And Satan, uh, Satan is against Satan, the house, and the house divided, it shall not stand. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, but you see, you know, America fighting with Russia, you know, the economy of America is crashing. Is going down. You see, you see this this people. You know, they're they the ones that are, are homeless. They on the block asking for money. See, our people are are doing good now. 
in that captivity under oppressor. Okay, we see the power switch is flipping. That's why, you know, in uh, Second Ezra, it tells you how Jacob held the heel of Esau. Okay, which which signifies that Jacob, which represents Israel, will bring down the rulership of Esau, man. And Esau is at, at it's the end. Okay, we at the end of this, man. So, start with, let's start with this first scripture. Deuteronomy 28 and 54, this is part of the curses that we follow, right? It says, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Okay. So this man, I forgot the man's name, but this man, maybe it's right here. Chad Dorman, okay? Chad Dorman is his name, okay? All right, and guess what? He 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 wanted he wanted the mother as well. All right, shot her in the hand. Hey, but guess what? It's part of the curses, right? But it says, "His eyes shall be evil toward his brother, and toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave." And what he did, he executed all three of his sons, okay? All three of his boys, all right? And damn near killed killed the mother. He he killed he killed all his sons right in front of the mother, okay? Now his bail is 20 million. 20 million. That's unreal. All right? That's unreal. But see, the Lord is doing that for a reason. Okay, let's get, um, let's get this, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, and it says, And the Lord, Yehovah, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So Esau is the one that persecuted us, that hates us, that wants to, you know, destroy us as a whole. But guess what? The Lord is flipping the curses upon our heathen, upon upon them, upon their people. See, they're the one that executing their family. They're the ones that killing each other, going to going to jail. They're the ones that that going through straight hell, you know, and seeing their kingdom going down and crumble, while while we we stand, we stand in great boldness and we waiting for our Lord to come back, man. Okay, see. We happy for the system to crash. We happy for the money to fail. We happy. We happy that all these things are happening. Okay, because with that we know we are closer and closer for our Lord to return, and then this whole nightmare is gonna vanish. Okay. Um. Let's get this. Luke twelve. Luke 12 and 51, right? And this is the Lord. It says, Luke 12 and 51, it says, Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth? I tell you, nay, but rather division. See, the Lord is not coming with these peace and hugs and kisses and, you know, I'm going to save everybody. Nah. The Lord not coming with that. The Lord coming with violence. The Lord is coming with destruction. He's coming with vengeance. He's coming with division. All right? And guess what? The Lord is causing division amongst amongst Esau's household, amongst his kingdom. Okay? It says, From henceforth there shall be five in one house, divided, three against two, and two against three. Okay? And you see, their house was divided. The Lord put that evil spirit amongst, amongst that father to destroy his, uh, to murder his three sons. <laughs> Okay, to murder his three sons. All right, and have the mom watch it. Okay, but see, the Lord is, is causing division amongst the earth. Okay, because the Lord is stirring up, um, you know, destruction and vengeance 
because soon enough, all hell about to break loose. And it's Jacob's trouble is going to be a free-for-all out here, man. Everybody's going to have to fight for themselves. So you're going to see, you know, kids getting held for ransom, women getting held for ransom, families getting destroyed and killed, okay? You see? It's a lot of things that's about to happen upon this earth. This is only the start of it. <clears throat> Let's get Matthew 24 and 12. It says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. The love of many shall wax cold, man. Okay, so see, people are people are killing each other, their own family killing each other. Hey, the love of many is waxing cold, man. The Lord is putting them, them evil spirits upon this earth for judgment. It's all judgment at the end of the day. And the Lord is up there happy and laughing. All right. To put that evil spirit upon these people to kill each other. To see the to see the curses flip on each other, man. All right. Let's grab this last one. Second Ezra 16 36 it says behold the word of the Lord receive it believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake <sighs> right behold the plagues draw up nigh and are not slack so the Lord is sending plagues upon this earth all right this is one of the plagues you know destruction with the sword you know love of many wax and cold and the lot the Lord is, is is kindling the fire who's gonna put it out Who's going to put out the fire the Lord has already been kindling upon America and, and amongst the whole earth? It says, and as when, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringing forth her son, with two or three hours of the birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child come forth, they slack not a moment. Okay, so, you know, all these things are happening. It's like great pains of the earth that's happening, man. Okay, like a woman, it's compared as a woman having contractions. She can't put, she can't, she can't hold it any longer. She has to push out. Okay, and it says, and even so shall the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So the Lord is bringing death, sorrow, destruction. All right, and guess what? These plagues are not going to return slack. Anything the Lord says is not going to return unto him void. Okay. Let's get this la this one right here. All right. Second Ezra 14 and 17. It says, For look how much the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. So you're seeing more evils upon the earth. Which evil's going to bad times. Alright? It's gonna be more and more bad times like this. You're gonna see more brain splattering. You're gonna see more people murdering each other. Families murdering each other. Killing killing you know their loved ones, their babies. Alright? You see the world's getting weak getting weak through age because of the man that's ruling this earth. You know, he brought this earth up. Well, he brought this country. You know, America, by violence, a rape, robbery, destruction, you know, deceit. And guess what? You know, now, now it's influencing the whole earth, you know, to do that. Okay? See, that's why the Lord is going to bring fire upon this place and destroy it. And destroy the people that are in this rulership. Okay? Because evils are increasing upon the earth. All right? So with that, Lord, one's lesson been edifying. I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Shemuel, Shabbat, Shemuel, Kakudash. Till next time I say, Shalom.